Today I'm driving from Ontario, Canada to Rochester, New York to do a 24 hour stealth camp at Golden Corral Buffet and Grill. This will be our first 24 hour video eating at an all you can eat restaurant. We'll be eating multiple plates of food for lunch and dinner, visiting a friend in the hospital, and I'll try and have a good night's sleep in my minivan stealth camper. In the morning, we'll grab a coffee and get our tires checked at Mr. Tire, then head back to Golden Corral for our last huge meal. If this sounds like an exciting video that you wanna watch, then grab something to eat, sit back, and enjoy this video. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Golden Corral Buffet and Grill. We're gonna be living here for 20, for hours can't wait so this is the closest golden corral to my house in the south end of rochester new york and uh, i've never eaten out of golden corral a lot of you guys said you love golden corral there were a bunch of people that said i'm gonna do you a favor don't eat there but i'm gonna judge for myself uh, i'm not sure if you can go in and do takeout there because it's a buffet i don't think so I've seen other buffets that do takeout, so we might try to do at least one of the meals in the van, but uh, I think most of the time we're gonna be at the buffet. I'm gonna wear like a little microphone so you guys get good audio. You guys ready for this? I'm ready, let's go. Just wanted to show you, I got my boots to keep my feet warm later on because it's pretty cold here. Got my bag of clothing, got my heater, Got extra water just in case. Got my Jackery all ready to go. Beds all made. Got my electric blanket, which I might be using possibly later on tonight to keep my body warm. Survive this thing. Uh, my Jackery should be good. We're at 100%. I'll need it. Keep everything going. And again, if I I don't want, I don't use this uh, heater at nighttime when I'm sleeping, I just use it in the van to keep the van warm until I go to bed. Then I shut that off and then plug my electric uh, blanket into the Jackery if I need it. I also have my minus nine sleeping bag, which I might, I think I'm definitely gonna be putting that on tonight. All right, go Bills. And I also brought a scraper just in case it snows or the windshield gets all iced up, then I've got something to clean that off. So I just put that in for the season. Some of you guys can't wait for some of the winter stuff. Cool. Changed my jacket. So it's 1130. We got 24 hours. Let's do this. Ah, buffet to go. Good. Way in. Grab a box to go. <laughs> oh, they got breakfast all you can eat. Saturday and Sunday. Still opens at 11. I think most of the time this place closes at 9. 11 till 9, something like that. You got games. New signature sirloin. Wow. Am I in the right spot? Thank you. Holiday buffet. This place is crazy. Hello. All right, how are you doing? Good. First time here, so what do I do? <laughs> well, grab a drink if you want a soda, grab the 32 ounce soda cup. If you want water, grab the clear cup. If clear you want cup. coffee, I can get it for you. Okay. Um, and then you just come to the register and he'll check you out and you'll be sitting to the right. Okay, thank all you. Right? So again, this is all the drinks you can get. If you want just water, which I only want water. They do coffee too, but I'm not in the coffee. Lots to drink here. Hello, sir. Hey, how you doing? 14, 14 Okay. So I can tip out the end, or? Uh, do you wanna, yeah, you tip the end. Okay. Uh, do, you, do you wanna get a tip? I can put it on your card. Uh, I can just set up a transaction for like a couple of bucks if you want. Yeah, let's do $5. Okay, perfect. I'm sure you guys are worth it. Yeah. <laughs> Of course you are. You're so helpful so far. You said five dollars? Yeah, that'd be great. Are you good? are you my server? I am. Well then let's just do it right now. Look at that. That's money right there. All right. Okay, so no problem. Oh look at that. There you go. Dinner. So dinner is eighteen seventy nine, Monday through Friday. Saturday and Sunday, it's all day twenty two forty nine, but we have steak, prime rib, oh, roast. My goodness. Turkey, chicken. I can't wait for that. Yeah. So come back for dinner sometime. Okay. I will. Definitely. 
Thank you very much. Best deal in town. Yeah, no doubt, eh? Okay, thank you. I've chosen this spot. All right, I guess I just go up and just eat as much as I want, right? Eat as much as you want. <laughs> I will, thank you. What's your name? Oceana. Oceana. Yeah. Oh, right. Thanks, Oceana. So we got our table, got our drink, knife and fork. Let's go. Uh, the dessert area, carrot cake, hot fudge, caramel, jello. Look, it looks like a birthday cake. Uh, got more cake over here, pumpkin pie. There's something else, I don't know what that is. I don't know where to start. A fried chicken, baked potatoes, mac and cheese, Italian red sauce, spaghetti noodles, fresh saute spinach, got Texas toast, uh, lip, uh, beef liver and onions, oh that's awesome. Sauteed cornbread. Barbecue chicken, sugar-free, got pink. Oh, good, we got breakfast stuff. Let's start with breakfast. Way over here, this place is huge. Got all the salad stuff. Oh, there's a seafood salad, gotta try that. No plate, so you can't eat anything today. <laughs> More lettuce. Okay, they're like plastic plates, so people don't drop them. I want to try that, uh, that looks pretty good. Seafood salad, yeah, seafood sauce. Look at the chunk of that. Oh yeah. That's not gonna be uh, very good with my breakfast stuff though, is it? I shouldn't have done that. Chipotle, they got pizza. I'm gonna try and do some breakfast stuff first for sure. Oh, well, there's not really much breakfast stuff. That looks interesting. Broccoli and a rice casserole. I definitely want to try this chicken. Let's do just one leg for now. Gotta like somehow squeeze that on there. Then we got skillet cornbread. Sure, let's give that a shot. Why not, right? I don't know what the difference is between these two. I want to try a piece of liver. I don't think I've ever eaten liver in a buffet before. It's really good for you. Got lots of vitamin C. Of course, look at all the other food I'm putting on here. Not good for me. That's enough for now. We'll come back. Got our Golden Corral knife and fork. Clean and sanitized for your protection. And, oh, the napkin box is there. Got a straw, which I don't use. All right, let's get it. Well, let's just do that. I want to try this first thing. Look at the size, look at the chunk of that seafood. Again, it's, this is fake crab, but it tastes great. I guess we'll uh, eat that first. Cornbread's kind of nice. They had butters up there. I should have grabbed a couple. Let me know what you, uh, your, your favorite thing here at Golden Corral. Again, let us know. If you love the Golden Crown, or if you hate it. So far, I'm liking it. I could see my wife liking it. She loves uh, buffets. Again, you can tip at the beginning or at the end if you want to tip. You don't have to tip. I like to tip because you guys watch my videos. I like to try and tip as much as I can. You guys uh, support me. I like to support servers. The seafood salad is really good. Cornbread is not too dry. I find cornbread a hit or miss. Barbecue chicken looks not too bad. A sweet and smoky barbecue sauce. Got some seafood on there. That, I could eat a lot of that chicken. That's not bad. Super messy. <laughs> what did you expect, right? Chicken all done. It was good, like I'd, I'd eat a lot of that if I came here. Some of the pieces are really big. I wanna eat my pizza last. 
So let's dig into some of this. Haven't had liver in a while. I like buying ground beef at home with liver in it because it's uh, very good and uh, high in uh, vitamin C apparently. That's pretty good here too. When I first sat down, all I smelled was onion. They should put bacon with that. Bacon, liver, onions. The trifecta. Last bite of my liver. And it's pretty good. I need that again. There's your extreme close-up of their pizza. Golden Corral pizza. And it's not bad, it looks good. Hmm. There's the bottom. Kind of tastes like, um, I'm not sure if they actually make it here from scratch. It has that uh, frozen pizza kind of texture to it. It's like it's not really a pizza crust, it's like a pita. Again, that's what it tastes like. Fantastic so far. Do they make their own pizza here? Um, yes. And is it a pita or is it is it like handmade dough? No, it's a, a bought crust. It's a what crust? It's, it's a bought. It's oh, they buy the crust and then they put all the toppings on it? Yeah. Okay, kind of figured. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Okay. That is correct. All done. Our first course. So it's $14.57 plus my $5 tip. So $19.57 US all you can eat but i have not eaten that much food yet let's go back and get more first plate down clean plate award let's get some more he just put down some fresh pancakes gotta do it look at that one right there let's do a stack wrecking all your hard work <laughs> thank you Sugar-free syrup, yuck. This thing needs to be washed. What do you think? There we go. Oh, they got slushy machine. What's your favorite slushy? I'd probably do the blue raspberry. Pancakes, as soon as I saw them put them on there, like fresh off the grill, I'm like, I gotta try these things. Oh, very fresh, very moist. That syrup was very thin, but look at that. Super fluffy. Woo! Again, fresh off the grill, very hot. When you see him making pancakes, just wait until he puts more on there, because these are actually quite good. And whatever oil they put on there, it's got a nice crispy top and edge. You can hear that? Can you hear that? Mmm, light and fluffy, so good. Whatever uh, pancake batter they use, plus the oil and, and the way they fry that up, it is super yummy. I would definitely come back here just for their pancakes. On a Saturday, I bet it's chaos in here on Saturday and Sunday. Let's get some more. And the server is so good, by the time I come back, that will be gone. What's this? Bourbon street chicken. Are you kidding? Let me put this on first. Gotta try their mac and cheese. That looks nice and creamy. And then this bourbon stuff. I don't know why I didn't see this earlier. Bourbon street chicken. They even give you the calories. So three ounces, which you have no idea what three ounces would be, is 170 calories. There's your extreme close-up of my third plate. This is probably my last plate and then we'll go for dessert. But there is the mac and cheese and uh, some spaghetti sauce. I've been dying to try this chicken. Oh, it's super fresh and moist. The fork goes into it very easily. Oh, 
lots of flavor. Has a little bit of a, a syrupy um, barbecue sauce kind of flair to it. It has like a pepper kick to it as well. You can kind of taste like a bourbon flavor too. If you haven't tried this, that Golden Crown, please give it a shot if it's on, if they have it out. Because it's very really good. Let's give this mac and cheese a shot. Oh yeah. That looks pretty good. Very creamy, buttery, lots of cheese. That's not bad either. Let's try the uh, spaghetti. Are you a twirler or a cutter? Sometimes I cut my spaghetti, sometimes I don't. They do have spoons here, but I forgot to grab one. There you go, nice big clump. Out of those three things, the chicken takes the cake. If the chicken can take, take the cake. All done once again, let's get some more. Gonna be small plates, or bowls. I didn't know, oops, I didn't notice what this thing is. Pumpkin pie, pecan pie. I don't think any of these things are right. I definitely wanna try this one. This looks like something I'd make. It's about the, it's about the thickness of it. All right, so this is bread pudding. None of the signs are adding up. So do some bread pudding. I don't know what that is. <laughs> she said this is banana pudding. And I love banana pudding. It's like banana goo and then whipped cream on top and then cookie crumble. Oh, they got jello. When's the last time I had jello? That is awesome. There we go. It's spins. I think I gotta do this. Pudding. This looks like regular chocolate pudding. It's pretty, uh, it's, it's thick. Hmm. The whipped cream's really good. And the, um, the pudding itself. It's rich, creamy, chocolatey. Reminds me of my childhood when my mom would make it. Thank you, Gold Corral. Bringing back the memories. Bread pudding. Big chunks of bread. Mm. Cinnamon, very sweet. You can, like taste the, the granulars of sugar. Just the right amount of cinnamon. That would be good with ice cream. It's warm. Mm. That's really good. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm not shocked, but I'm surprised how good that is. I don't think I've eaten carbs or sugar in the last five days. So when you eat it for the first time, it's like, woo! <laughs> you start to shake. <laughs> Banana pudding next. Looks nice and creamy. It's not bad. I think, get, here's a banana. There was like no, it was like vanilla, vanilla pudding with whipped cream and cookie crumble on that bite. But the next bite looks like it's gonna have a banana in it. Mm -hmm. Once again, it's very good. I definitely get that every time I came here. Wow. Then the bread pudding is definitely sweeter. So if you got a sweet tooth, go for that bread pudding. I guess we're doing this birthday cake. It's a little dry. Because it is dry. It's not very moist. The icing's nice. I wouldn't get that again. Save yourself the time and effort. And take it from Ken. I'm sure some kids would love that, but as an adult, damn. Bread pudding, chocolate pudding, or the banana pudding for dessert. And that would finish off your meal perfectly. We are all done here, our first meal at Golden Corral. I'm gonna grab some more water, and then uh, we'll hit the, uh, the camper, the van camper, uh, kind of get dressed for a nice big long walk, and uh, work off some of this food, and then we'll be back for dinner and eat a bunch of steak.
Thanks, Oceana. You too. First experience was great. Yeah. I will. Steak and butterfly shrimp. Celebrating 50 years. All you can eat. Get, well, there's an ATM. Hmm. Then we got some money. Wish draw. Paper receipt. Credit card. Wow. They charge 1.52. So if I take out $100 US, they'll charge me 156.88 Canadian. Nope, not doing it. I'm out of here. That was bullshit. There's no way I'm exchanging my money at 50 something percent. Nope, ain't happening. Uh, if I did it at my bank, uh, probably be a dollar 37 maybe. So 37% on the dollar around that that's i'm not sure exactly but it's because i'm using my visa i'm in the united states that machine's upping my charge plus three dollars no i'm out would you agree or disagree i get my walking boots on and uh maybe a hat there it is Check it out guys, there's a five guys. I haven't eaten in a five guys in five to 10 years. I don't remember the last time I ate at a five guys, but I'll come back. If you guys give me 3,500 likes, I'll come back to a five guys and eat five guys food for 24 hours. And do me a favor, because I believe in you. Let's get that 3,500 in two days. Thank you, thanks for your support. This is actually a bad parking spot because <laughs> the tree's too close gonna get stuck in the door so I'm up to 13,000 steps for the day so my distance was nine kilometers and 0.22 took me an hour and 43 minutes my active calories were 560 uh, but my total calories for the day so far is 765 and uh, we're good to go uh, right now I'm going to head over to a hospital where one of our amazing subscribers and now a uh, good friend, Zach, uh, who was born with spina bifida and lives in Rochester. Uh, I did a video with him many years ago and he's back in the hospital again with uh, an infection. And um, we're hoping that he gets out on Friday, but I saw the post his mom put up and I, I figured, hey, since I'm gonna be in this location, in, in Rochester, might as well visit Zach and give us give him our best wishes, uh, and then we'll come back here and uh, have dinner. but I'm not sure if Zach wants to be in the video or not, but I'll let you know.
Zach says hi, everybody. Uh, he is in very good spirits. Uh, he is in a lot of pain. So um, I think we talked for about two hours and uh, got caught up in the last little bit. So on Sunday, he had his very first seizure at home and uh, was rushed to this hospital. He could have possibly been released today, but I think his levels of infection were still just a little bit high. So he was supposed to have a surgery back in May, but because of these ongoing infections, uh, he can't have surgery. So wish him well, please, that would be great. Um, when he does have the surgery, we'll probably wait to, for him to recover or we'll come down and give him a visit while he's recovering in the hospital. Uh, being in the hospital by yourself really sucks. So it's always nice to visit uh, family and friends when they're in the hospital, bored out of their mind. Of course, got to give them a little heads up, make sure they're not sleeping. When I first got there, it looked like he was sleeping. And so I asked the nurses, um, should I go in or should I, because he knows I'm coming. So I don't want to wake him up. If he needs to sleep, he needs, no, she goes, oh no, he should be fine if he's expecting you. And as I opened the door, he kind of looked up real quick. So he wasn't, he was just kind of snoozing or what's it called, like taking like a little power nap. That's what he was doing. Anyway, so uh, hopefully he'll be released tomorrow. Uh, today's Wednesday. Uh, he might be released tomorrow. That would be fantastic. And uh, wish Zach a very speedy recover recovery on this uh, last infection. And uh, hopefully he gets his surgery f soon. And then once he gets that surgery, hopefully he doesn't get any infections for the rest of his life. And definitely no more seizures, Zach. No more seizures. That was scary. Spooky scary. It's time to head back to the Golden Corral. He said the one here has been around for 20 years. Let us know in the comments below how long the Golden Corral in uh, Rochester has been around. And let us know in the comments below how old is the Golden Corral in your area. And do you visit it quite often? Zach and one of his friends actually popped in. A very nice lady. And uh, they neither of them have ever eaten at the Golden Corral. That's kind of funny. They got this interesting cool buffet and they just never eaten there they eat at other restaurants I don't know. Uh, the girl Zach's friend she said a couple of her friends worked there and they said all the staff were amazing it was a, a great place to work anyway let's get back to the Golden Corral dinner time steaks meat yum Not sure if you can hear it guys, but it is freezing rain right now. So possibly by tomorrow morning, my car will be in a sheet of ice, possibly. And I'm so glad uh, my wife told me to bring the uh, ice scraper because I think I might be using it tomorrow morning. Welcome winter. It's dinner time. 